Hoi hoi, how are you? Yes, I did just adjust my hair. That was kind of, uh, silly. Anyways, um, missed the last two days. Um, for solid reasons, sort of. Two nights ago, <laughs> uh, I got a call as soon as I came home from school from my favorite manager at McDonald's. Saying, hey Teddy, um, would you like to work tonight? And I thought, 8 to 11, yeah, yeah, 7 to... 7 to 10, you know, usually usually it's 5 to 8s or 4 to four to 7s. Um, but she said, uh, could you work uh, starting at 7? I'm like, oh good, so 7 to 10. To 3? What? <laughs> and my dad was next to me and uh, I said, well, I don't know. And he said, and, uh, he said that's, not, that's, not what, that's not what bosses want to hear. And I said, yeah, you know what, yeah. Because I actually thought, money money's good um, so I worked a uh, 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift that night and I couldn't I didn't really have a chance to vlog uh, so apologies about that um, and I'm not gonna overemphasize the diet on that day or the or really yesterday because I mean they both went really well I can tell you that if they didn't I'd be telling you um, yesterday was Saturday, and I was so tired from my uh, overnight shift that I slept till about 12. Um, then I woke up trying to teach myself the snare drum, so I practiced that a little. Um, and then I had another job, <laughs> uh, my Rogers Co-op. Um, which went really well. I was uh, close-up camera, so I get all the cool replays. And I did really well. I actually did fantastically well. And I get to sit in the sports broadcasting chairs, which are interesting. Because they're like chairs on a U-belt that's sort of shaped like that. And like your chair goes here and you swivel along and your camera's in the middle. So you're swiveling from side to side, pushing off with each foot. It is fun, and I would do that again in a heartbeat. That was so cool. Good lord, that was cool. Um, so, yeah. And then I got home. That shift ended at 11. So I got home at 11. Uh, 15, maybe. Um, and I decided I needed to, because I haven't had much sleep, I haven't been able to relax. I needed to pamper myself. So yesterday, my mom bought me these red full pajamas, and by that I mean like they got sleeves and legs in them, and they button up and they're cozy as anything. So I ran myself a really hot bubble bath, and I had a bubble bath, then I put on my jammies, and I watched Beast of the Southern Wild, laid back, and chillaxed. And uh, seeing as yesterday was a Rogers shift, I do need to update on what I ate there, because that is, the, that is one of the places where, you know, the choices. Um, pizza is always what's there. Um, so I had one slice of cheese, one slice of, I don't know really what to call it, it was, it sort of had bits on it of bacon and beef, but it wasn't meat lovers, nor was it Canadian, it wasn't, you know, any of those kinds. Um, and then I had a slice of pepperoni. And I didn't have breakfast yesterday because I was asleep. <laughs> so I woke up and I had a uh, panini sandwich, a turkey panini and uh, that was my lunch and so yeah my dinner was the pizza and a bit of uh, cinnamon pizza I don't know what to call it um, about two sticks of that and the sticks are about yay big maybe um, so I had that and water so yeah and then I slept boy did I sleep I slept till I slept till noon again today and whew, I needed that. Um, it's 11 o'clock now, so I'm going to go to bed as soon as possible. Um, you may notice I got a new haircut today. I'm so happy with this haircut. This haircut is nice. It is very nice. I'm also not wearing glasses. I don't know why. I could. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I've been wearing them since senior kindergarten. I think I get a break. Um, so breakfast today was uh, huge. <laughs> But healthy, uh, on my 1500 I don't count fruit and I don't count vegetables, all I count, if I do have vegetables with dip, I'll count the dip. And that's, that's all I, I'll count for them. 
Uh, so my breakfast came to 200 calories. I had the, t the only two things that I would count calorie-wise are my, uh, uh, what's it called? Oatmeal, my oatmeal, and uh, a frozen, not a frozen, what am I saying? A Greek yogurt, and that was good. So that came to about 200, <laughs> and uh, then with that I had a huge ring of pineapple, uh, about six or seven apple slices, and a banana. No coffee, no drinks with that. Um, then I got this, and then we went to the grocery store, bought some stuff for dinner, which I'll tell you about, because holy crap. Um, <laughs> then my lunch was uh, one of those, one of my smart meals things. And yes, I know they're not they're not the best, but for, four, for 300 calories, I'll accept it. Um, just for a quick lunch. Dinner, we were planning stir-fry. And so I thought, cool, let's go out and we'll buy tons of veggies. And I did, I bought tons of veggies, and all the veggies went in. And then we went to a new grocery store today that offered some better choices for vegetables and fruit. So what I chose was... Uh, Let's pick up some habanero peppers. I've never had habanero. They just look like mini bell peppers. They can't be that bad. They are. Um, so in this, we had I had one steak dish and one chicken dish. Yes, so my mom likes chicken. And I like I like red meat. Um, so I cooked up. We we cooked up both of the different meats. Um, and then to both we added um, matchsticked uh, carrots, bell peppers, um, onions, uh, bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, snap peas, yeah, and oh, I know I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something, but, you know, it's not big of a deal. It was vegetable. Um, and then this to the sauce. Not to my knowledge, my mom added sriracha, which is good normally because I really like sriracha. But had I have known that, and had I have known more about habaneros, knowing now that it's one of the hottest peppers known to man, I would not have cut up the whole thing and put it in. Oh my gosh, it was, it was painful after a bit. It actually started to get painful. And so I had milk today because nothing else would quench the fire. Um, and I got some. This is so Ted. I, when I was cutting them, I, I washed my hands afterwards. Apparently I didn't wash them well enough, because my nose started to burn right on the inside of my left nostril. I got pepper in my nose, and it burned a lot. And so I finished my dinner. I had two bowls of that, plus we bought Caesar salad, so I had Caesar salad too. And I had that. Then I came upstairs, because my sister and I were going to do a Skype presentation for my parents about our vacation coming up. Went well, by the way. And I was taking off my glasses, and my middle finger on my right hand gently grazed the side of my eye. And apparently, there was just enough pepper on there to knock me right out. It burned with the fire of ten million suns. It was so hot, my eyes started to well up with tears. It turned red. I ran to the top of the stairs, started screaming for my mom, because, well, not screaming, but, you know, Mom! Mom! Help me, I'm dying! Um, because my mom's a nurse, and I figured she knows what to do. She was actually helping my dad, so... Went to the washroom, wanted to wash it out, but I didn't know what to do. I just grabbed some water and went, <laughs> eh. So I ran back to my room, put a towel over my face, put a towel on my eye, thinking, like, I'll suck out some of the, some of the stuff. It just burned for about 
two minutes of just solid pain. So, next time, I'm working with Pepper of the Habanero variety. I'm using gloves and a surgical mask. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's how the past three days went. Sorry for not uploading. Extenuating circumstances and all that. Slauncha, have a good night, and I shall talk to you. Yeah, tomorrow's Monday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.